Please activate the subtitles. My name is Roger Kala and this video is going to be very quick, extremely quick actually because I just have 5 minutes to record it before my next class. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this video is from the series of videos named Real Life English and today we're going to talk about something that has just happened in my real life. Yeah, it happened 25 minutes ago and I've decided to share it with you because it was a nice story. As you know, I'm a teacher, I teach via Skype and for some reason 50% of my students are teenagers. Okay, so some minutes ago I was teaching a 16 year old student and she's at the advanced level. She's brilliant. She's Brazilian and she speaks English really, really well. So the topic of the class today was how music can save the world. We were following a book and that was the topic today and coincidentally she was wearing a Queen t-shirt and I really like Queen, you know, the band Queen. So I said, oh, you're wearing a Queen t-shirt, that's so cool. I was really surprised and impressed because most teenagers don't even know them. But then she said, yeah, I love Queen. I have, I have three Queen t-shirts and a Queen purse. When she said that, I remained silent for a second and I thought, I mentioned Queen, one of the greatest bands of all time, and she's talking about clothes and accessories. Oh my god, she doesn't know that they were a band. She thinks it's a clothing brand. By the way, I talked to her before and she agreed that I could make a video talking about it. So she has totally given me permission to tell you this story and she has just asked me not to mention her name. You know, that was the only condition. So, Marcella, if you're watching this, thank you very much. <laughs> just kidding, her name is not Marcella. But then I looked at her and I said, Paula, you know that Queen were a band, don't you? Oh, before I tell you what she answered, I must say that names of bands are treated as plural in British English. So we say things like Nirvana R, Iron Maiden R, Aerosmith R. But in American English, people normally say Nirvana is, Metallica is, but they say uh, the Beatles are. You know, so basically both ways are accepted. But getting back to what I was saying before, I looked at her and I said, Paula. You know that Queen wore a band, don't you? And she said, Oh, no, I, I thought it was a clothing brand. <laughs> you might think I got angry with her answer, but no. I seriously understand that teenagers don't know the great old bands because they haven't been exposed to them. It's simple. I don't know why people get upset when a teenager says that they don't know who the Beatles were, for example. It's okay and natural. And I'm a teacher. I've already come across many teenagers who thought that Nirvana was a clothing brand. So when Paula said that she thought that Queen was a clothing brand, it was okay because I had seen things like that before. By the way, my student's name is not Paula, okay? It's a made-up name. But then I asked her what sort of music she liked and she said that she loved rap and her favourite artist was Kanye West. Oh, by the way, she told me that the correct pronunciation of his name is not Kanye, but Kanye, Kanye West. Anyway, she told me that her favourite artist was Kanye West, so I told her that I had no idea who Kanye West was and she got offended and really upset, really. She said, I can't believe that you don't know who Kanye West is. He's the greatest artist that this planet has ever seen. So I smiled at her <laughs> and I asked her, but do you know Led Zeppelin, for example? And she said, no. And I asked her, oh, do you know Nirvana? And she smiled and said, I thought it was another clothing brand, but you're going to say that it's a band as well, aren't you? And I said, mm-hmm. We looked at each other and we laughed. <laughs> we laughed a lot. The thing is, I don't know the new artists and she doesn't know the old artists and it's okay, you know, why would we be upset about it? She's not right and I'm not wrong and I showed her some of the bands I liked and she loved all of them. And she showed me some of the artists that she loves and I hated all of them. But it's natural because old music is so much better than music nowadays. We debated for a long time and she was trying to prove me wrong and in her opinion, Kanye West is a much, much better artist than Freddie Mercury. And I asked her why and she said, Because Kanye changed the music industry. He has been on the cover of the Rolling Stones magazine so many times that I can't even remember. His songs are always number one on the radios in the USA. He has won more than 20 Grammys. Can you believe it? More than 20 Grammys. <laughs> why do you think that Freddie Mercury was better than Kanye West? It's insane. I smiled at her and I said, 
because he could sing. Turn down for what? <laughs> but we were laughing all the time while we were debating about music. What I like about debates is that it forces my intermediate and advanced students to use English in order to try to prove their point, in order to try to prove their right. So I think it's a healthy thing to do. After our class, she still believes that Kanye West is better than Freddie Mercury. I couldn't convince her otherwise. I still believe that Freddie was much better than Kanye West. <laughs> So please leave a comment telling me your opinion about that and if you think that old music is better than music nowadays, you're right. And it's really okay if we have different opinions because then we can debate about it and it's a great opportunity to practice English, isn't it? Approximately 10 hours later. Oh, I was editing this video now and I found this video of Kanye West singing a Queen's song. What a coincidence, I have to show you guys this. It's classic. Let's compare Kanye West and Freddie Mercury singing the same song. So, the question is, who is better? Mother, she's killed a man But a god against his head Pulled my trigger, now he's dead Mama, life's a job Just killed a man Put my gun up to his head Pulled a trigger, now he's dead Mama Life had But now Please click the big red button to subscribe. It really helps me when you do that. And click the bell to allow notifications so you will never miss new videos. Thank you very much.